Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And this is in response to a video I had done and someone posted, uh, Mike, My actually Mike Milo, big shout out to Mike and thank you for following me. Uh, he wrote, interesting, and this is uh, again in reference to doing drawing substitutions. I'm a bit confused though. So whatever you draw on the timeline automatically becomes a drawing substitution or a substitution drawing. Uh, I asked because you drew three drawings, uh, basically I did a blink, uh, then you deleted two, but the drawing substitution windows retain them regardless of whether or not they were on a stage any longer. Is that because you had the drawing substitution window open or did you have to do anything else for it to stay? Okay, this is an awesome question and especially if you are coming from a flash background. This is this can be confusing uh, because of how powerful uh, drawing substitutions really are. So let me select this. Uh, I just put that in my drawing. Uh, what I'm going to do, nothing fancy here. I am going to, uh, one, I'm going to hold on my O key and get a larger brush. Uh, but I'm just going to draw out the number one. Okay. And so we are on this drawing here and this is frame one and I can immediately select frame two. Um, now, whether the drawing substitution window is here or not, this is still going to work. I'm going to turn on my onion skin and there's frame two. So there's a drawing, there's two drawings now uh, on this one drawing level. Matter of fact, I'll call this numbers. I'll call this layer numbers. So we have two different drawings on our numbers layer. Okay. I'm just going to use my less than and greater than keys on my keyboard to move to the next frame. And I'm going to do about seven of these. And yes, I am working with a Wacom Intuos. Uh, this would be a little bit difficult to do stuff that quick with a mouse. It can be done. I just would rather not do it anyway. Um, so we have these seven drawings here. Now what, um, I did in one of the, in the tutorial that's in question was the argument was I deleted these. Like I can literally select these guys, all of them here and just simply press delete. And then I can extend the very first one all the way to the end, simply press F5 and I've extended that exposure. Now here is the deal. Um, in the numbers drawing layer that we have created, the extra numbers that we drew out two through seven, they have not been deleted. They are still there. If you're familiar with working with flash, think of these as a graphic symbol and using the single frame mode. Now the difference is, this is not a symbol at all. These are just drawings, but they are so powerful. Um, how powerful are, are they? Let's see if I can select frame 10 right now. Uh, it's the whole thing of each one of these layers has their own timeline. So I can call on these at any given time. I'm going to use my bracket keys. And if you note, I'm going to zoom in here. You see this one little line here. And it's not a keyframe, but it's saying that I'm swapping out my drawing. So I can just scrub my playhead, use the bracket key again. And I can use the bracket key also to go backward. So those drawings are always there. So if you've done a character and it has different hands, that works very well. Also, if you've done um, uh, mouth symbols, and this is where it comes in handy, especially with working with the automated lip sync, uh, each of the phonemes would just be a different frame. And then you could call on those when you need to. Now, I hope that answers the question. And again, trust me, when I first got into using Toon Boom, I'd come from a flash animating and flash background, getting into uh, the way Toon Boom works with things. It you're, you're kind of blown away by the amount of power there. Um,
but yeah, just you have a lot of access to these. You're not throwing them away. Um, and whether this little drawing substitution substitution window is open or not, you still have access to these. Um, and again, the quick key to do that is um, just using your bracket key, uh, just your open and close bracket keys. So Mike and to others, I hope that makes a little more sense. Let me know if you have any more questions. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.